capital city have been mourning the loss of one of the city's most memorable teachers. Ada Robinson died last Monday at the age of 84. Now people are remembering all of the amazing things she did and the countless lives she changed. 1011's Matt Kirkle spoke with her family and former students of hers to learn about her incredible impact. Robinson's kids say nobody valued their students quite like Ada, and she let them know it too, waiting to give hugs and smiles to her students every day in front of the school. But they tell me she was much more than just a good role model. Uh, you could not walk, what, more than maybe five, ten minutes, any place without someone walking up to her and saying, Ada, do you remember me? The amount of lives that were touched by Ada Robinson stretches far beyond the classroom, something her own kids know well. I just thought mom was a teacher. I didn't realize the impact that she had with generations of families. This is one from Family Reunion. And that impact has only grown over the last 50 years. That's like one of my favorite photos. She was a student teacher at Clinton Elementary in the 70s before landing a full-time teaching job at the same school after college. And over the course of the next 30 years, she would teach six different grade levels, engaging with her students in ways they'd never forget. Her hugs would almost rejuvenate you for the day. If you were having a bad day and she gave you a hug, your day turned around almost immediately. Robert Eddins knows just how powerful those hugs could be. Ada was his second grade teacher. And she called them her kids. Every one of the kids that came through her class was one of her kids. And Ada's legacy culminated in April of 2021. This is my favorite person on the planet. Oh. When the LPS Board of Education announced that their newest elementary school would be named after her. She kept saying, but I wasn't doing anything special. I was just going to school every day, doing what I love. It didn't even feel like work. And all these years later, her kids are still trying to process how she managed to do it all. Where did she get the energy and the bandwidth to give as much as she did at home and to her family and to the community? And it's that energy that will make her memory last forever. I love, love the job. You know, because it wasn't a job. We always said it, our, our neighborhood was not any jobs there. We was one big happy family. Robinson's funeral service is set for December 1st here in Lincoln, and a viewing will happen the night before from 4 until 8 at the Roper and Sons Funeral Home.